back on What's Burning right here on Lake TV and uh, finally starting to recover. I'm not so sure that Megan and DJ Kyle were as honest before you guys came on about how much they struggled. They really struggled with that one chip challenge. But as we move forward, it's Christmas season and we have our good friends Bill and Janice Lacasse joining us from SRG Financial Advisors. And before we even get into it, I want to find out, you guys got big plans this year for, for Christmas? You know, we usually go up to St. Louis and visit between Christmas and New Year's, but on Christmas Day, we'll probably stay at home and try to enjoy it. Right. Yeah. 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 Together, with, right. without Together. all yeah. the crazy yes. and busyness. Right. Right. Exactly right. Kind of hide. Yeah, that sounds Enjoy lovely. Enjoy Christmas oh, yeah. as it should be. I, I might hijack, but I, I don't want to intrude. You know, <laughs> you that, just that come sounds, on you know, over. You're sounds welcome great. as the flowers yep. in May. Yep. You just come anytime you want. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, so talking about some of that busyness and that stress, that tends to be a consistent for everyone this time of year. Oh, yeah. And so one of the things I wanted to field was tax season. You know, by uh, November, December, and absolutely by January and February, you're really starting to think, okay, we're getting close. But I've learned being, you know, client of the firm, SRG Financial Advisors, for a couple of years, there's actually ways that you can plan throughout the year and make it so much easier. And so, Janice, you're really the tax expert on the team at SRG. And so talk to us about as you get into December and some of these things you may not be able to do this year, but what are some of the things that people should be thinking this time of year? So again, we've only got about two and a half weeks left in the year. So some of the year end things you either have to really hurry up and get done or at least consider doing and then make sure for next year that we you, yeah. You've got these things in place. Um, one of them is uh, taking required minimum distributions. If you are over 72 years old and you have an IRA account, the IRS requires you to take required minimum distributions. And if you do not take those distributions, it is a 50% penalty. So it's one of the steepest penalties that the IRS yeah. has if you do not take those. Because Uncle Sam's wanting his share of, yeah. of you know, taxes are, are due on those accounts. So you want to make sure that you're, you're taking all your required minimum distributions for the end of the year. Um, if you can still max out any 401ks um, by the end of the year, that's, that's, that's a good great idea. tax benefit. Yeah. Um, you can take up to $20,500. Um, you can contribute into a 401k or if you're 50, years or older, you can do $27,000. So you certainly want to max out those contributions. Um, you want to maybe consider some Roth, either yeah. contributions or Roth conversions. If, you, if your income is so high that you can't contribute to a Roth, you can take your traditional IRA money and convert it to a Roth. And um, that's, that's a great It is, and, and it's also a great time in the fact that the uh, stock market is down. So as you're converting those assets, why not convert at a lower price over to a Roth IRA? And then when it grows back, that's growing back tax-free. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there, there's, there's, there's a lot of advantage in doing that. Kind of what she said, though, that it's kind of a bad time of the year. We're only with just a short time left. All of a sudden now we have to look at the idea, can the company that you need to do this with, do, can they physically get that done? Mm -hmm. And you're kind of running up against the wall. But these are ideas that carry over Into every year. Into next year for sure. Yeah. Definitely. And, and, and we've also found that, you know, Janice was able to straighten out my financial life. She's been able to straighten out your financial it's life. It's true. 100%. She's, she's a pro at this. Well, I don't know, you know about that, and, and, and thank I, you both. Well, <laughs> it, but he's not kidding. I mean, right. you really yes. you really are. And for me, over the years, it's always been, oh, my goodness, it's end of the year. So yeah. I know in January I'm going to have to start doing this, 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 this. Well, then January's done, and I haven't started this, 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 right. this. Right, right. So now being with you guys for a little bit, Janice already got me looking at 24. Like, we're, yeah. we, we're handling 22. This is what we're going to be doing for 23, for 24. Right. It's like, how did you get me thinking like this? <laughs> you know, how did you do this? It's, it's wild. But there's a lot of these things that people just don't have that understanding and that knowledge. Right. And so for you guys, what would be the best course 
for them maybe to have their portfolio and their situation maybe looked over? How can they do that with you guys as far as just a consultation? Talk to them okay. about, about the RMDs a little bit as far as uh, uh, using those for charitable. Right. Well, that's one thing idea. that um, is I don't see a whole lot of people doing, and it's just it, it's a great tax uh, way to to help offset uh, taxes on on your money is it's called a qualified charitable distribution. Now this is only good for people that are over seventy and a half. Um, of course, the required minimum distribution starts at seventy two, but you can start doing this at age seventy and a half. And what you do is if, if you're charitable minded, you can have your RMD or any amount up to $100,000 out of your IRA sent directly from your IRA to your charity. And so your charity's getting the benefit and it is not taxable to you however much you however much you uh, yeah that gives you the opportunity you know since the uh, standard deduction has gotten pretty high a lot of people aren't qualifying for being able to get any itemized. kind of relief or itemized when, when they're passing money to that charity so you know they're taking money like for example if they're taking rmds they're paying taxes on that money as they receive it and then when they give money to their charity they're giving that money to the charity yeah, after right. they've paid taxes right. and aren't getting any benefit for doing that where if you do it the way that Janice suggested you know you can kind of bypass that you don't end up paying the tax on that right. a lot of people think that you can only pass on what the required minimum distribution is but like she says you can go up to hundred thousand dollars and you can divide that up amongst charities there's even on the on, on the investment side, um, we sometimes direct people towards donor using what's called a, a, a donor advised fund, mm -hmm. where you can take, like, say for example, you know, it's it's time to get the deduction, so you move. Let's play just pretend and say a hundred thousand dollars is a is, is an easy distribution for you, and you pass that on to the donor advised fund. That gives you the ability to have the tax deduction immediately. Right. Then you can take your time sending that money out of the, the donor advised fund as to all the different charities that you might want to receive that. So um, this is a great time of the year to sit down and, and not only do some tax planning, but some charitable planning at the same time. Very good. Our, our charities need their money too. Yeah, yeah there, there's no doubt. And especially in this community, you Absolutely. know, with the, the poverty levels. Hey, now another thing I wanted to touch on is I noticed for us and for so many people like us that this time of the year also brings financial stress because of the yeah, Christmas of season. Oh, yeah. And, and you, you feel the pressure because you know you want to get that nice thing and maybe you'll put some additional charges on a card you shouldn't or mm -hmm. you know so what would be some advice that you guys give maybe some of your clients or some of your friends when it comes to the Christmas season whether it be saving up or shopping year round are there things that the consumer or middle average income American can do to take some of that Christmas stress away? Well, I'm, do it within your means yeah. <laughs> is, is don't, my, yeah. my, is that's my biggest advice is don't, yeah. don't overextend just to give this lavish present to somebody who won't even remember six months from now right. that you did that, you know, and then you're paying on a credit card now for a whole year on that present that's either been used up or is gone or not that it's not appreciated but um and of course start a savings account start yeah. a savings account yes. in january and say that i'm putting Christmas so club or something or, right i'm yeah. putting so much money into this account every month and then when november comes and you need to start shopping for christmas then you yeah. have a little bit of a nest egg to start working with you know what kind of a statistic nut i am i love looking at statistics on everything after uh, cyber monday this year one of the statistics that came out that kind of startled me was that 78% of the people that bought things on Cyber Monday uh, had put it in some sort of an extended payment plan, either 90 days, same as cash, or right. you know those types of things. That's that's a staggering number. 78. I mean, Cyber Monday's become huge, right? You know, it is. and uh, I mean, it's like it it it, it eclipses well, Black Friday now. That that you know. topic's going to be for a whole nother right. sit down. Yeah, right. Is the concept in this country that you can have whatever you want, even if you can't afford it, is right. so backwards. But I know something that we started to do that Unique saw online was we now shop year round. Yeah. So right. right after Christmas, you see some really cool, those like box sets of Under Armour and, and different stuff. Well, those go like 70 to 80% off, so we'll grab a few. And then in our pantry, there's boxes. We just buy a couple things for the kids throughout the year. Sure. Man, we got into it if early this December. If you have the control to not 
give it to them throughout the well, year. We'll, <laughs> well, we try to be real frugal and, and yeah, clear right? items. And so when we got that those two bins down in early early this month, we couldn't believe how many gifts we had already <laughs> Isn't gotten. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And so Great idea. it Great took idea. away 70% yeah. of what we of thought our budget was going to be. Right. It was already gone. Nice. And so I realized you don't think of those smaller purchases throughout the mm -hmm. year. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's been impactful for us. And I also think, like you said, start some kind of like Christmas cash and savings knowing right. we want to do nice things for right. people exactly. at Christmas time. Exactly. Well, if you're willing to make payments on a credit card, make yourself payments into a savings account. To yourself, mm -hmm. essentially, right? Absolutely. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. hundred percent. Right. All right. End of year. Listen, I know you guys are so busy, so I'm not going to tell anybody to uh, call you guys right now. But for people that are watching this and they're like, you know what, I really need to get a sit down with Bill and Janice. I've been hearing them on the radio. I've been you know, seeing them on What's Burning the last couple of years. I've seen them on different segments. I want to meet them and find out if maybe they could help me. How can they plug in? They can call us at 573-302-7212. They can reach out to us on our website, www.srgfinancialadvisors.com. And we would love to sit down and help anybody that is looking for some help. You know, we've always said if you're, if you're a nice person, we have no problem working with anybody. Right. And they'll even make exceptions and work with a guy like me. But I will say, no joking, this is not a paid endorsement. My life has been so much better since you guys came into my life. So thank you for taking a lot of the stress and headache and things that I was spinning my wheels doing all those hours take them away. So thank you for making my life easier. And I promise that's available for you guys out there watching too. So give our friends Bill and Janice a call. That's going to do it for this week's show, or actually this segment. We'll be right back on What's Burning after this.